Good morning, students. Today, we're gonna to talk about weather maps. We're gonna learn how to read the symbols on a weather map, and we're going to learn about all the tools that meteorologists used to predict the weather. I don't know about you, but when I was younger, I used to dream about being a weather forecaster. Hello, everybody. I am the weather lady, and right now it is currently 55 degrees during the nighttime. And tomorrow morning is supposed to be 50 degrees and sunny, and just as nice in the afternoon at 67 degrees and sunny. Yes, that was me, younger version. Didn't I do a great job forecasting the weather in Bastrop, Texas today? <laughs> That's pretty awesome. I just want to give a little shout out to Annabella who helped make the younger version of Miss Bright come to life. Okay, so back to the subject at hand. Yes, weather maps. Are you ready? Let's learn all about weather. Weather maps. Meteorologists use the information they get using weather tools to make weather maps. Those tools include an anemometer, a thermometer, and a barometer. <laughs> weather tools. A weather map can show what the weather is like at a certain time or place, like right now. It helps scientists make predictions about what the weather will be in the future. A prediction is a guess about what will happen. So here's an example of a weather map. As you can see, if I look at Seattle, Washington, I see that it's going to be partly sunny, high of 73, low of 53. If I look at Houston, Texas, I see that we have showers and thunderstorms with a high of 91 and a low of 76. And then if I go to New York City, I can plan on precipitation, a high of 80 and a low of 71. A weather map is pretty cool. Weather maps show weather data. This data includes temperature, precipitation, air masses, the movement of fronts, and air pressure. Weather maps also include a key. The key tells the reader what the different weather symbols mean. So what is an air mass? An air mass is a large body of air with the same temperature and humidity throughout. So humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. So if you have a high humidity, you have a high amount of water vapor in the air around you. Also, these air masses are huge. They can be many, many square kilometers. What is a front? Well, a front is a place where two different air masses meet. Blue triangles show a cold front. Red half circles show a warm front. Think of rising suns. That's how I remember the warm front. The triangles and half circles point in the direction the front is moving. Now let's look specifically at a cold front. Strong storms are likely when a cold air mass bumps up against a warm air mass. Thunderstorms are likely in warm weather and snowstorms are likely in winter. When a cold front passes over an area, the temperature decreases. It drops. Ooh, I think it's gonna get cold in here. This is what a cold front looks like when it is next to warm air. We see heavy precipitation and cold air. So what about a warm front? When a warm air mass meets a colder air mass, it will slowly rise over it. Heat rises, right? When this happens, sheets of gray clouds form at warm fronts and usually bring rain. The temperature will rise when a warm front passes by. Here's an example of warm air rising above the cooler air. So what is a stationary front? A stationary front forms when two air masses meet and stop moving. It becomes stationary. Clouds and precipitation will form where these two air masses meet. Here's an example of warm air and cool air at a stationary front. What's air pressure? What is air pressure? The H stands for high. A high is an area of high air pressure. 
High pressure areas usually bring fair weather. The L stands for low. A low is an area of low pressure. Low pressure areas usually bring storms. Okay, so did you get all of that? I think you did. Let's ask some questions and let's see if you remember the things you learned in today's lesson. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of fun. Whee! Number one, what does the key on a weather map tell you? A, what symbols on the map mean? B, the temperatures of Houston, Texas? C, where rivers are located? Or D, how to forecast the weather? Hmm, what do you think the answer is? Your teacher can definitely hit pause here. If you said what symbols on the map mean, you are correct. Great job. Okay, number two. What does the letter H on a weather map show? Hmm, A, where Henry lives? <laughs> There's a Henry in my class. B, the amount of precipitation. C, an area of high pressure or D, an area of high temperatures. What does the letter H on a weather map show? Hmm. If you said an area of high pressure, you are correct. Good job. Number three, look at this weather map symbol. What does the symbol stand for? A, a stationary front. B, a cold front. C, precipitation or D a warm front if you said B cold front you are correct great job number four what is a front a a place where air masses meet B the front part of a storm C an area of very high amounts of precipitation or D an area that has great weather hmm what is a front? Hmm. If you said A, a place where air masses meet, you are correct. Thank you for joining me today as we have talked about weather maps. Until next time. <laughs>